Hello friends, how are you? Apera houses, well, you must have heard about them. They were very common in many other countries. In India too, the British built such structures exclusively for dance and music performances in cities like Bombay and Calcutta. In Bengaluru too, such structure existed at the junction of Brigade Road and Residency Road. In Bengaluru, cantonment was occupied by the British to cater to their cultural needs. This opera house was built somewhere in the early years of 1900. Inside this house, a huge platform, very long dancing space with soft and cushion type wooden floor, dazzling lights and many other such special features used to give the performers a unique experience. Externally also, it was a long building with a tiled roof. The side walls of the first floor and in other places, they were very well decorated. During 1998, I had written about the heritage aspect of this building, comparing it to classic Titanic ship in my column in Asian Age. Apera hosted many live performances of Raj Kapoor, Lata Mangeshkar and such great personalities. However, by 1940, Apera was converted into a cinema hall. It screened many English films. However, later it became a prominent center for Hindi cinemas. Recently, Samsung has set up a beautiful showroom in this theatre. Thanks to them, because they have retained the original shape of the building and have made equally nice landscaping outside. Very close to Apera House on MG Road, there existed Crystal Picture Palace, which was one of the earliest cinema talkies to be started. Mr. Kiran Natarajan, one of the film historians of the city, says that it was owned by a European woman, but she later converted the theatre's name into Globe after the First World War. In 1940s, it was bought by the family of Akhtar Begum. In the same name, they showed many films. Here are the samples of publicity materials for the film Caesar and Cleopatra. After India got freedom, Globe was renamed as Liberty and Begum was very famous as Liberty Begum. The long queue in this photo shows how people were gathering here to see their favorite movies. But eventually, friends, Liberty also went into the pages of history. Another palace-like building at the end of the MG Road near the present-day Kumble Circle was a theatre called Empire. <laughs> True to its name, it was so majestic and grandeur in appearance. It was a favourite centre for film goers particularly during 1930s and 40s, to see English movies. People could view the foreign movies by paying one or two hours. But even Empire stopped showing films few decades back. But still, it existed on MG Road as a mute spectator for the glory of the major highway of Bengaluru. But in 2021, even Empire had to yield to the modern development of Bengaluru. At the junction of Kabban Road and Central Street, there was a theatre called BRV. BRV means British Rifle Volunteers. They were part of Madras Army in 1884 and their regiment was stationed in Bengaluru. 
To cater to the needs of the soldiers and their families, a canteen was built at the present junction. But in 1905, canteen was demolished and the present building was built by the army in 1912. The main feature of the new building was it had a ballroom. It was strictly confined to army people and their families. In 1959, the building became Defense Service Cinema Hall. They started screening both English and Hindi movies. As many other theatres on MG Road and surrounding areas increased, BRV stopped functioning as a theatre. A few decades back, the army again turned into an army canteen. In Shivaji Nagar, a little away from Shivaji Circle, there existed a traditional architectural beauty called Eljin. It was a film theatre. It was built in 1886. It is the oldest film theatre built in Bengaluru. It screened the first silent movie made in 1907. Again, after entertaining the film goers for almost 100 years, Elgin also stopped as functioning as a film theatre. Friends, I have a very big list of such theatres, you know, like Plaza, Palace, Rex, Galaxy, and many more such theatres have gone into the pages of history. Hell, we'll meet in the next episode. Till then, take care.